Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to go over how to finally get max points in squad battles fairly easily. So something that I've, I've seen quite a bit in my comments and on Twitch is that you know, some people just struggle really hard to get the max points in squad battles. And for anyone that doesn't know how to actually obtain that in squad battles for Aki Ultimate Team 21, it's just like NHL 20. Basically, the, the goal is to play on the hardest difficulty, which is Superstar, win by 5 goals, and have 20 plus shots. You need to have at least 20 shots and win by five. You can, you know, win five nothing. You could win, you know, 10 five. It doesn't matter as long as you win by five goals and have 20 shots. That will get you the max points for each game. Something else I need to explain for anyone that's new to squad battles. You'll see among the leaderboard of everyone that's played the same amount of games, why are some people higher than others? Well, there is a little bit of luck involved because when you refresh your opponents, which happens every 24 hours at 5 p.m. Um, throughout the week, and then on the weekend, it's every 12 hours. So Saturday morning at, at 5 a.m., there's a refresh available, and then 5 p.m., there's a refresh available, and then same with Sunday as well. So be on the lookout for that because it's really hard to grind the entire squad battles event throughout the whole week, but it is there for the offline players. So if you have a really hard time with it, like myself, because you know you enjoy the competitive online play, squad battles is going to be tough. And when you don't win consistently and and you're not able to get the max amount of points, it's even harder. So I just wanted to explain that, yeah, when you refresh your opponents, some people are going to get higher overall teams. So if you play, you know, an 87 overall team and someone else gets an 85 overall team, they're going to have a few more points available to them if they max out. So there is a little bit of randomness to it. But if you play all of your games and get max points, you're at least, you're guaranteed top 100. It's very, It would be a very, very rare instance if you were to do every single game throughout the week. Um, and, and, you know, not um, not be able to get top 100. The last thing I do need to mention just kind of as an overture uh, of this, the featured squad of the week. So this week it is the Tampa Bay Lightning for obviously winning the Stanley Cup. Uh, last year you would get double the points. It looks like this season you don't get double the points, which is fine because it doesn't really matter. Um, but you only get one shot at that squad. So if you're going to load in, play Superstar against the featured squad battle, you only get one shot. All the other ones you can replay um, and get a, and get a second chance if you aren't able to, you know, max out your points on it. So just keep that in mind, guys. So let's get into all the tips and tricks to how to actually dominate in squad battles on Superstar. So let's quickly just take a look at the menu and the actual mode itself so that we're all on the same page. Right now, um, I have yet to play uh, the team of the week, which is the Tampa Bay Lightning. Again, you only get to play them once, so heads up. Haven't played them yet, and uh, I have four more games that you know I don't have to do just yet. There is an opponent refresh at uh, in in about an hour, so before 5 a.m. tomorrow, because this is uh, being recorded on Saturday, I need to finish these four games and refresh my opponents. As long as you have uh, you've refreshed once, um, you know before the time runs out and you've played these games. You won't lose out on possible points. So, again, here's the ranking system. The reason why squad battles is so advantageous to get, uh, you know, to get good at uh, is because of the rewards. So, as you can see here, my all-time high, I finished last week. I think it was fifth place overall. And I got an ultimate pack, uh, two of those elite packs, and then two mega packs. There's just a ton of actual stuff and 75,000 coins. So, if you can get first, it's, you know, two ultimate packs. Those... Those ultimate packs are the crown jewel of Hockey Ultimate Team. That is 20 cards, 80 plus overall. So just those are those that is like the the ultimates are what you want to aim for. Now getting top 100 is obviously difficult. Where you want to aim if you are a newer player or anything like that is anywhere in these elites. As long as you can get a mega pack, even if you're not going to pull anything, that's the green one. Um, you know, you're going to get a ton of cards that you can use to trade in for collectibles and whatnot. So just keep that in mind. So right now I'm in elite two, but I have a ton of games to play. So I should be able to still get uh, top 100. So let's get into um, kind of the settings, first of all, that I would recommend everyone use uh, if you want to make it easy on yourself to play the CPU. I want to mention this. If you are extremely good at the game, and I'm talking like you can get top 100 in Hut Champs or even top 250, let's say, you and you're maybe in Div 2 or Div 1 of Rivals, so you have a you are very very good at the game, you just struggle at, you know, in in squad battles because the AI plays so aggressive, then you kind of want to just use what you normally use, but for anyone that doesn't, this is what you want to use to make it as easy as you possibly can on yourself. There is a very very easy way to score um, in NHL 21 for Hockey Ultimate Team 
on superstar mode. I'm going to show you that through with some clips, but here are the settings that I want to recommend to you guys. So the four check is one, two, two passive. The neutral zones a one, four, the trap and four check is full on trap. Offensive pressure is standard. Defensive pressure is protecting collapsing uh, for the defensive strategies. A uh, quick breakout. You also want to put on close support. The reason being is that uh, the AI is super aggressive on superstar. So having a lot of passing options right out of your zone is kind of important. Now, on to the offensive ones. I would recommend Crash the Net, but if you are someone who is amazing at the game, use whatever you are most comfortable with. The reason why Crash the Net works so well is because it will tell and force your far side winger and center to just beeline towards the net, looking for rebounds or that tap-in backdoor goal. And again, I'm going to show you how easy it is to beat the CPU and take advantage of that. Because cycling in the zone against the CPU is where you're going to see the biggest change from online play. The AI is super aggressive. The second you get close to the boards, you'll be pinned up against it you will get pressured to the nth degree and you cannot really hold off the puck very well like you would against a manual opponent you have to move the puck a lot you have to create space and there's just not a lot of time to do that in squad battles on superstar so i think that's where people struggle the most so you really want to focus on scoring off the rush so the last thing I just want to point out, the reason why offensive pressure is standard, you can even go full out attack what this will do is when you're on the rush it will dictate how you know Full throttle, your 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 team will go when breaking out. Um, the reason why you can have this one so high is because again, you're trying to get it where your team just scores off the rush. To do that, full attack will help. But I just leave it on standard because full attack can mean that your defense kind of just forgets about playing defense and it'll give up a lot of breakaways in two on one. So leave that one on standard. But you can go to full out attack. So now let's get into the clips on how to actually beat. Superstar squad battles. All right, so before I show you these clips, okay, here is the one thing in terms of your team that you want to focus on. Now, obviously, no one really has a team like mine. My team is absolutely out of control. I have essentially the best players at every position, but that doesn't mean that you guys can't do what I'm doing here. All you need to do is focus on speed on the wings. That means go pick up the lit Duchesne, grab base Taylor Hall, Anyone that is around 88 and above speed will do just fine. Even if you get guys that, you know, aren't that, but they have synergies that increase it, that's fine. Any wingers, that's all you need is the wingers. They don't even have to be guys that you use normally in your lineup. Say they have, you know, a crap shot, that doesn't matter. Just put them in your lineup when you're playing squad battles. It's going to make your life insanely easy. So, here it is, guys. This is how you do it. We'll run the first clip. And again, you just straight line down the boards with McDavid, and that's it. It's just like that. Now, what I want to explain to you guys is that once you get into the offensive zone, it is very difficult to actually score against the AI on Superstar. All you need to do is continually drive wide and look for that backdoor tap-in pass. So I'm talking like if you are trying to break into the zone and they've already got three guys back, I wouldn't even recommend breaking in. You can literally reset all the way back into your zone and fly all the way back. Now, if you are in the zone, you always want to just rotate around the net and look for the backdoor play like you see right here. But other than that, leave your zone. Leave the offensive zone, come all the way back in, and try and score that rush right down the boards, okay? Now, there is a couple other things that you can do. The self-sauce, which is just slightly tapping R1 down the boards. It still works a little bit, uh, but you can get a little bit of a speed boost um, to throw off the defender along the boards. Now, if you keep getting checked along the boards, cut into the middle and crisscross with your wingers, but it's still the same thing. But now let's talk about defense because that is where, you know, you kind of want to focus on. Scoring is one thing. Again, it's just going down the rush, uh, down the wing and scoring off the rush. But in the defensive zone, here is what you want to do. You want to play the worst kind of play style that you do online. You take whatever player you have selected, you bring them right down into the slot, and you don't move, really. All you're trying to do is get them to eventually force a shot on goal that's more than likely going to be blocked or intercepted by your AI. That is all you're trying to do. You're playing the CPU. It doesn't matter how you play against them. You're just trying to get max points, and this is the best way how to do it. Remember, guys, once you get up and you have your 20 shots on goal, you can still puck rag. Again, you're playing CPU. You're trying to get max points. 
you know, you can be as dirty as you want in terms of actually finishing off the game. I would say this, though. It is kind of hard to get 20, 20 shots on goal by doing this method of the backdoor plays because, of, obviously, you're not going to get a ton of shots on goal. Uh, so make sure that you're watching out for that and make sure if you are trying to get shots on goal, say you've got your five-goal lead, make sure you just come in from the point on the rush and just fire low off the pads. That's going to make sure there's a rebound so you can get the puck back and then get more shots on that rush. So just keep that in mind as well. So I hope that this helps out. Again, it's not very uh, long and lengthy and in detail. There's no need. It's that simple in squad battles. It is literally just reset, try to score off the rush. It is that easy because once you get into the offensive zone, that superstar AI can be absolutely ridiculous. On defense, sit in the middle and wait for them to intercept or have their shot get blocked. It's that simple. So, guys, thank you for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments section down below. And don't forget to check me out on Twitch live at 10 a.m. Eastern every single day. And I'll answer any of your questions there live in my chat. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.